Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. Our visit over two years ago strengthened our belief and love for the paranormal to an extent we never thought possible. This is where we met Lily, the child spirit that brought Corey to tears and truly gave us an understanding of what exists on the other side. She's Lily sitting next to me again. We've been looking forward to returning here since the day we left. And it seems Lily is waiting for us to return as well. People have seen the people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Are you evil? Are you not letting Lily leave her room? Lily is no longer allowed to play with strangers. Yeah, this is terrifying. No, there's someone outside that room. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, I just got a freeze down my neck. Are you serious? Yeah. Look, a bunny and a captain and Reed. Holy oh, sh Holy sh Look at that right there. Hey everyone, before we jump into this video, we never thought we'd have an experience like that again. Yeah. What you're about to see, so ridiculous. It is. So much fun. It's emotional. Literally, yeah, it is. But also, if you are in the UK, well guess what? We're bringing our tour to you. What? To London, Nottingham, and Edinburgh. The tour is coming to you. There are four live shows total, which, for the record, we did a full USA tour. 33 nights, 25 different shows. We had so much fun that we're like, let's add more. Yo. Yep. Now that we actually know oh. what the live shows are, yeah. the mix of comedy and, and tomfoolery uh -huh. and shenanigans and bringing yeah. people on stage yeah. and sharing weird stories and paranormal stories. Yep. Sometimes we bring in experts and because it's UK, we might have some guests that are joining us from oh. the area. Oh. So meet and greets, we take pictures with everyone. There's a 3 a.m. experience after and we are doing one ghost hunt. It is only in London. Yeah, Overnotpaynormal.com we're gonna bring you on stage, we're gonna play games, and you're gonna tell us your ghost stories. You're gonna talk like that every show, aren't you? Yeah. They're gonna love it! Oh my god, I'm gonna fit in. They're gonna think I'm from the UK. <laughs> They're gonna think I'm from... Yeah. yeah. You're gonna get kicked out Welcome of the Welcome to the UK! Over your opinion with your call. Alright, make sure you come to the first show on tour because they're made up the second or third. Dude, they're gonna love me, bro. Dude, they're gonna love me. Alright, well, hopefully, we see you guys on tour. We're really excited to share these episodes, by the way. They're gonna be all for have fun watching every show. We're aiming for like Halloween time to release the first episode. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Also, look at all haunted items. Look at all haunted items. Look at all of them. Look at all those right there, and then there's my, my wall's not finished over there. But look at look at all these items you guys have sent us. They're so much fun. They're so cool. Yeah. They're not, you, you know, haunting the house or anything. No. I keep seeing people walking around. It's funny because no one knows what any of these are yet. They're not going to know for like a super long time. Like no one knows what <gasps> Ellie is. Oh, this is like an inadvertent sneak peek right now. Oh! They're getting to see everything. Wow. All right, guys. So we are right outside of the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, and. Uh, we're about to start, you know, we're gonna do the tour, we're gonna investigate, but Elton is taking a poopy. Is he? And uh, if you look right there. Wait, is he actually in there? That's where he's taking a poopy. Should we go shake it? No, no, better. <laughs> Let's push it against the RV so he can't get out because the door is facing us. Wrong. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, no, we got super. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Elton! Yeah? Come on, it's time to film. Uh, are you gonna try to help that go faster? We're it's ready. time to Come film. On, wait on you. Come on, dog. You guys trying to get the out of me? We're yeah. paying by the hour, Elton. Let's go. The is <laughs> yeah, Elton. Just come outside. Just yeah. open it. Unlock it and open it. Come on. Did you. Did you. Did we what? Did you push me toward the motorhome? No. <laughs> I, I can see you! That might have been a ghost. I can see you! <laughs> what are you wearing? So smiling! I volunteered to go alone by himself tonight in solitary confinement, <laughs> obviously. Wait, did anyone give him the. Oh my oh, god. god! Push it again! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait! What the hell? Stop someone... it. Oh my god, it reeks. Oh my god! Wait, did stuff spill in there? Yeah! Wait, <laughs> where did the ghost? Oh my god! <laughs> this is my fear. This is my fear. <laughs> <laughs> did this happen? Elton, 
I swear it's a poltergeist right now. Come on, dog. It's Two. past eight. What do you, you have? have to start? Oh. I wasn't Two. done wiping. Oh, I wasn't done wiping. Now you're the past one. Never mind. I'm moving the floor wiped. You're not faster than me. You're not faster than me. I was eight pounds. Oh. Oh. oh my god. I had a cold. What's up everyone and welcome to or welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to all things paranormal. If you've been watching TFIL, for a while, then this building is going to be very familiar to you. This yes. is Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, one of the cooler places that we had been to. One of the coolest experiences we've ever had. Also, yeah. investigating. We've had insane. Th Lily, yeah. First of all, was mm -hmm. one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me while investigating. Yeah, Lily, I think was the experience that we had that made us realize that you can actually have genuine connection with spirits without necessarily devices or yeah I don't, I don't know it's just this is like one of the eye-opening experiences that we had here and kind of made us take paranormal investigating even more seriously and kind of look into it in more detail and like really trying to understand it was yeah was right here so it's got a very mixed and convoluted paranormal activity like you can go from pure kindness over there with lily to the far over where the lobotomies were to up central where it was violent crime yep so wow. we came back more prepared this time around. And I even have a new idea I want to try tonight. Something that? that I don't think anyone has tried before. What is it? And they already gave me permission to try it here. What? I'll explain it when we do it. But it's something that I have not seen done before and I really, really want to try it. And I'm just curious to see if it works. Okay. It doesn't require any electronics. I don't like that. That's it. <laughs> I don't like that That's it, all. that's all I'd, it requires. I'd rather, leave, I'd rather just have a device. <laughs> yeah. And there's yeah. no there's no Divic box box tonight. Good. It is locked away, it's safe, and as promised, not touching it again until I hand it over to the witches at the Sally House. Perfect. Wow. And that is where they will open the box and all of the boxes yeah. from their safe containment center. They know how serious it is. So if you watched wow. our last few videos, you know what I'm talking about. And mm -hmm. that will eventually happen as promised, but I'll be ready to go inside. I think so. Yeah, okay. yeah I am. Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, otherwise known as Weston State Hospital, was constructed between the years of 1858 to 1881 and is now considered one of the most haunted areas, not only in West Virginia, but all of the United States. In fact, the history and hauntings of this location are deeply intertwined as far back as the American Civil War, and that is what caused a huge delay in its original construction, as Union soldiers utilized it during their efforts against the Confederacy. It is the largest hand-cut stone building in all of North America, and the second largest in the world, only smaller than the Kremlin in Moscow, Russia. Designed by architect Richard Andrews, it features wide open windows, comfortable rooms meant to hold 250 people, and sustainable grounds for a working farm, complete with gas wells, waterworks, and even its own cemetery. Opening its doors in 1864, the comfortability and maximum capacity didn't last for long. What was meant to hold 250 patients eventually became 2,400. And by the 1950s, it was vastly overcrowded, leading to extremely poor living conditions. Rooms meant for a single patient would hold four to five, creating a nightmarish landscape of overcrowding. The farm and dairy sections of the property were designed to feed no more than 300 people, and as a result, malnutrition was unavoidable, only furthering the mental issues of patients by depriving their health and strengthening their anger. These living conditions were paired with the nearly unguided treatment of the patients who all suffered from varying degrees of mental illness. Treatments were ruthless and barbaric. Patients were locked up naked in their own filth alongside criminals or hidden away within attics of the buildings simply because relatives dropped them off with no desire to care for them any further. The torment suffered here, whether as a result of medical treatments or the harsh reality of being abandoned, has resulted in a tremendous amount of hauntings throughout every corridor of Trans-Allegheny. Among this morbid building is a very bright and well-known spirit we have had an encounter with before, 
Lily. She is believed to have lived her entire life at this asylum. Patients would become pregnant, and their births were held on property. The infant would remain with their parents, and if they were to stay with the asylum for their lifetime, so would the child. Lily is believed to have lived that exact scenario. Yet she is known for her friendliness, and her laughter is often recorded in EVPs while playing games with visitors who reach out to her. At least another eight spirit residents are documented regularly by visitors, with estimates of significantly more entities all throughout the buildings. Dean, residing in the back room at the end of the hall, was murdered by two others in a brutal manner, something our guide will discuss with us later. This room now experiences extreme cold spots and cries can often be heard. Many other patients were murdered by other patients and staff. Poor conditions led to more aggression and with more aggression led to more cruel treatments from the staff. And so the downward spiral began. By 1938, Trans Allegheny was documented to have six times more people than its maximum occupancy allowed. Staffing did not equally increase. Patients would outnumber staff, leading to them running wild, commonly escaping. And by 1950, it held 10 times more patients than designed. Finally, an activist group and publication uncovered the true conditions patients were enduring, sleeping on the floor in freezing conditions due to a lack of furniture and heating. Large windows were never cleaned, leading to grime and mold growing over them, blocking them out from any sunlight. Wallpaper peeling off, exposing all of the chemicals beneath it. Uncontrollable patients were placed in cages to make space for those that behaved. Free reign of experimental operations began. Lobotomies casually performed, sometimes in a competitive manner. Walter Freeman performed at least 4,000 lobotomies, leaving many perfectly healthy patients with irreversible brain damage. A record notes that Freeman did up to 228 surgeries in just one week. He in fact developed the ice pick method, utilizing a thin rod and placing it into a patient's eye socket, then hammering it into their brain to sever the connective tissue. As imagined, many patients died during this so-called treatment. Despite this torture and many other horrible treatments such as electroshock therapy, Trans Allegheny stayed open until 1994. This complexity of its history, inhumane treatment, experimental operations, and violent exchanges among patients and staff alike cannot go understated. Even a nurse disappeared with a story being that she had quit. Two months after a police investigation had finalized, her body was found rotting near an unused staircase within the asylum. Isolation cells are a major hotspot for paranormal activity, a space of horrors and anguish. Violent energies scratch and push anyone who enters. The kitchen and each floor in each room all hold immense paranormal activity and sections of this compound that are entirely new to us from our last visit, such as the women's ward, building for the criminally insane, and the prison. They are all known for extreme activity. Objects moving on their own, disembodied voices, cries, banging on walls, breaking glass, and far more. It is no surprise that after thousands upon thousands of patients and staff, that many spirits continue to wander the halls, simply looking for peace and an answer as to why. Why they were left there, why they were mistreated, why they were operated on, and why would anyone do this to another human being? I believe the doors are open for us, but we can find out. Do you want to do the knock? Matt, do you know the knock? Go the Trans-Allegheny knock? Yeah, the Trans-Allegheny yeah. Lunatic Asylum knock. Yeah. So it's kind of a loony knock. You haven't, you haven't figured that one out. Bit of a loony one, you know? Hi, we're here. Wait, wait, did it, did it work? Wait, hold on, Corey. Try the same knock, but facing toward me. Yeah, yeah. Ready? Do the knock at the same yeah. time. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, don't move. Don't move. Go. Go, something's, t I can feel wait. something touching me. There's a pressure. Me. There's a I pressure. There's, there's a, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> This open? door was locked. This door was locked. Before we got here. 
You don't think it was the Trans Allegheny Lunatic Asylum knock that opened it, do you? There's no. It way. could have been the Trans Allegheny Lunatic you Asylum knock. Ta -da, ta -da. Hey, Corey. Brandy. Brandy, Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brandy, Aaron. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you guys. You. Jonah. Pleasure. Wow. Evan. Way to cut Evan off, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> what are these buildings back here? These are our auxiliary buildings. Okay. And um, this one in the furthest back, the brick building, medical center. Oh. This one next to it would have been geriatrics. It's hard to see from here, but the one up on the hill would have been criminally insane. This one behind us is maintenance. And then the second oldest building on the property is right back around these, and it's the women's auxiliary building. Do wow. those get activity as well? They do. Uh, are we allowed in them? You are. That is your surprise for tonight. If Wait, we have, guys, a, we have a surprise for tonight? If wow. you guys want to choose um, a couple of the back buildings or one or whatever, it's a lot of Let's, ground to cover. That's I oh my did not expect that answer. That's really cool. I and mean, it's funny, we just talked about how everyone should go alone tonight. Yeah. We've not got enough, enough buildings. buildings. <laughs> no, no, no. What would be, in your opinion, the scariest in terms of paranormal activity? I've had some really intense activity in women's auxiliary. Okay. Um, of course, the majority of patients that were housed here were female, so that's why it's the second oldest building on the property. Those were the patients that they needed that extra space for. Got so, it. So now medical center, um, because those three back here do get investigated fairly often, and out of those three, I would say medical center is probably the ickiest, <laughs> I okay. guess you could say. So we got women's, medical, actual asylum, and then the fourth one. Yep. This will be fun. We have four of us, and she just gave us four places. So it's like, are we gonna split up? It's, like cra that? it's crazy how that math, how that math works out. You know? I call a camera guy. Honestly, I think that we should all go to women's auxiliary okay. together. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. We come back to somewhere, one of our favorite places that we've ever investigated, yeah. and now we get to investigate more <laughs> new places. Exactly. Bro, this is so nice. Not it. <laughs> Not it. I'll do it. You said it's the most active, right? Um, I personally think well, it is. You, what you would volunteer. I think it's part of it because it doesn't get investigated. So yeah. I think that it has a lot of potential. Oh. Um, I've had some really interesting, interesting encounters in here on the second floor. Um, if you guys want to walk on up to the second floor, we can head up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah where that way you go. know where you're going. <laughs> um, wow. Jonah's gonna have so much B-roll he has to do tonight. Yeah, would he do it every single building by himself? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I didn't even know this building existed. This is insane. <laughs> so myself and another employee were in here one night. There was actually an investigation going on in the main building. And um, they kind of wanted privacy, make sure we weren't making any noises, doors, or anything like that. And instead of just sitting at the office, we decided to walk back here because we'd heard a couple things. So we came in to check the building out security-wise, and we started hearing things upstairs up on the second floor. So we came up here, sat down, um, kind of just started a session because there wasn't anybody, you know, alive in here. <laughs> um, so we started hearing things out in this hallway. We went out into this hallway, and we were both running audio recorders. I was running an old-school mini cassette, and we wanted to compare our audio and see, you know, digital versus old school. Mm -hmm. um, I had something come up beside me and was just breathing into my audio. For, like, it was, it's disturbing. <laughs> Honestly, it gave me chills. She didn't even think I was there for a couple minutes because I just kind of like froze. I, you I don't know. feel this in the moment? No, oh. no. And by she, you mean the spirit? No, no, the, the other employee. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, and because I was standing behind her, and she even was about to turn around and be like, are you still there? She thought I'd left because I was just so quiet and so still. Um, and about that time, I just kind of snapped out of it, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what just happened? She said, I thought you were gone. I thought you left because I was so still. It was dead of winter, kind of like when you guys were here last time. Yeah. And I had a coat on that swishes, like any movement would have swished. And I mean, you hear nothing like that through the audio, but there's this very heavy, disturbing breathing all through my um, audio recording on that. And we were right out here in this hallway. So, and it definitely is as creepy as you are predicting it to be. So, how many people would sleep in each room? As many beds would fit. Wow. Were wow. they bunks or were they single beds? Single. Okay. So, you're looking at like probably four to a room. Maybe yep. more. Oh my and god. And in the main building, they would have even lined the hallways with beds when during the overcrowded years. Wait, what is that in here? Yeah. Is it a desk? No one got one. Uh, it's just a sink. Just a sink. Oh, oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh my god. 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 Oh
Jesus. Where'd Where'd you you find I got that? a toy. Where'd you find that? Toy? It's so rusty. That thing reeks of tetanus. You want to play saw the arm? No. Here's how we play. We both hold hands. Nope. And we see who lets go first. Oh my first. God. I Wait, but which arm first. do you start sawing? Uh, uh, I guess that. Here. Start with my baby arm. Oh, you, oh, you do the hand yeah. straight down? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember this day, the music box, and this is it. This is literally where you were standing. It was right here. The what? He was standing like it's right not here. Not when all that? Yeah. It smells old. No, but for a quick second, like one or two, it smelled like a deviled egg. As soon as we walked in. Yeah. A deviled egg? Yeah. yeah. Now it's like rotten. Right. You guys ready to leave the pleasantry of a nice, beautiful, restored board and get into what ghost hunting is really about? Uh, yeah, I'm making that. Afraid? Rust. Dude, I know. Is that a rocking chair? Do rocking chairs ever just like randomly move at night? Uh, I thought I was going to bring boards on a rock. Oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. Yeah. oh dude. <laughs> dude, you almost got knocked the f out, bro. Wait, wait, wait. At least now I know my full response. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> This room right here is actually where um, we had one of our first encounters with Lily way back in the day. So oh. this one and then the ward down through here. The haunted house used to be done in the main building here. And we had actors in the room jumping out to scare people. And one of the actors did her scare, um, her jump scare, went back in the room and that's when she saw a little girl that claimed to be looking for her mommy. She came out of the hallway looking for guests that might have, you know, lost a little girl that wandered off. There was no guests in the hallway or anything, nobody going through the haunt. And when she went back in the room, the little girl was gone. So that was the first reported sighting of Lily. So you guys have not only like full body apparition, but shadow wise, like you, people have seen them in full human oh, yeah. form. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. God. Um, on the second floor in the doctor's quarters, there we have a, I actually have the photo um, of, looks like an eight foot apparition um and it was on a public hunt there there was absolutely nobody here that height i mean when you get up there when we get up there you'll see how you know high the ceilings are and this dude is huge and someone managed to capture it on photo and brought it down and i mean we could not debunk it cannot debunk it um, how can that spirit be human oh my god wow this was down this hallway Yep. Yeah. Remember how I said that they would have lined the hallways yeah. with beds? Yep. Yeah, exactly like that. This hallway, you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every hallway. No, but I mean, do you think this photo was this hallway? Oh, I would say so. They usually do try and place the photos in the specific location. So. Why the big door here? What was that? Well, somebody have. Ghost here. My on silent. No, that was. No, that was. Okay. Down there. Okay. Teddy bear kind of toy found it. Oh, it was one of Lily's toys. It had to have been. Shut Did, up. It had, I mean, the it camera had to picked have been. that up. Without yeah, question. no, I, that was like, that was, it was wasn't... so loud. Door here. What was that? Whoa. Somebody have. Ghost here. Oh my gosh. Yes, it was. It's the same one. Oh, it's broken now. Lily. Someone break your toy. Oh. Yeah, it's broken now. I was in here one night, and the session wasn't per usual for what I was getting for Lily, what I typically got for Lily. So I questioned it. I was like, is this really Lily, or is this dude behind the lattice work trying to get her candy and stuff? Mm -hmm. And I think it was, and it pissed him off, because I haven't really got much activity down here since, and I think it's because that particular time I called him out on it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he just won't let her communicate with me, or if it's a protective, like he's trying to protect her, if he thinks he is or if he tried to control her, I'm not really sure. Um, or, you know, but I just have, I have multiple theories after being here eight years, because I've had all kinds of different evidence through you know, the entire building. And that, that session was just different than what I usually had with Lily. So I was like, this doesn't seem like Lily to me. This is somebody else. And I don't think he liked being called out on it. Um, so. Interesting. Uh, what if there's no Lily at all, and it's just something dark, pretending to be a child? They don't have to tell us the truth. They don't have to. The truth. That could be the case. God, that's so scary. Oh, no. Yeah, it's the lobotomy. Yeah, it's the lobotomy being performed. Oh, my God. Oh, that's like the worst possible thing I can imagine.
Freeman especially was a showboat. He was known to pause in the middle of lobotomies for photo opportunities. He was known to do two lobotomies at a time. He was not known for sterilization at all. Um, he was out to make a name for himself. He was not there for the benefit of anybody but himself. So he took what he called his lobotomobile and went around visiting asylums and homes and performed lobotomies even on children. So. And what was the point? To reset their mental stability? Yeah, um, basically once he started really doing it and it was a kind of a common procedure, it was often referred to as murdering of the soul because you know, we all have things that make us unique, give us our distinct characteristics. And after having this done, it made you kind of like a zombie in a way. You could perform your daily, you know, functions, necessities, things like that, dress yourself, feed yourself. But there was nothing to make you any different than, you know, the other five people standing in front of you. You were, like I said, it was murdering of the soul. You were kind of just a shell. So it's that's strange because people at least in spiritualism, they talk about the pineal gland, which is in like right here on your forehead, which connects you to like different dimensions. You guys, yeah. everybody heard that. Like, uh, um, yeah, as I'm talking about pineal gland, um, but it's right in like the forehead right here, and so if the bottom is hitting the brain right there, that was two. There's no one else here, right? There is another floor above us, though, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. My favorite floor. Uh, I have guides that won't come down here alone. Yeah. Um, I, me and this guy get along. When I first started, I brought him a day pass um, and kind of connected with him in a way, I guess, just trying to be friends, you know, just, hey, man. But if you really take the time to get to know this ward, it's a really, really cool ward. Dude, there's no way. Oh, my God, Ellen. I'll kick you in your <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I, 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 I wouldn't even come up here with Jonah, like one, one with a camera, I wouldn't no. even come up here, dude, no <laughs> way, no, you didn't say anything trying to get his attention? No, I was just waiting like that the entire time, oh, I, someone whispered in my ear, well, I would not, I would not hear your ear, I, as, as you were telling your story, it was either, it was like a, like a, that's really, really cool because just about a month ago, I was up here with um, another former guy. He'd come in um, with a couple people and was doing a private hunt. And we were a little bit farther to that end of the ward. And we heard like a, like a, a man's <laughs> sigh. And we kind of, was that you know, was it you? Um, everybody heard it. It was really cool. So that's neat that you just got that. There was never a night that I brought my group up here and you couldn't see him walking back and forth in front of that window. In front of that one? Mm -hmm. I, okay. Which, I mean, we can go move the chairs if you guys want. And, like, yeah, about a minute ago, I also was staring Could you still see him with the chairs? I've, I've moved those chairs a hundred times. I'm like, quit putting those chairs in front of my window. Because, yeah, you will see him rocking back and forth in front of that window. And it's almost like if he's not in the mood to really be social or seen, he'll just kind of go back in his room. Wait, wait, wait. Is it chairs? that's in front of the window mm -hmm. bro. that's what okay so that's what I was gonna say I wasn't for sure if this is this the floor where the person is also seen mm -hmm. crawling right? this is the person you're talking about I wasn't sure if it was either a shadow of someone over or it looked like the furniture down there just went like this one time that's exactly that's what insane. he does that's I didn't awesome. know I that that, that was a wrong that's exactly chair. what he does I had no idea that's awesome no because I hadn't said it yet that that's awesome. why I didn't say anything I was like okay it was something outside <laughs> because it wasn't a body <laughs> shape and no we're on the fourth floor there's nothing outside that window that's why I was like it's my oh, eyes cool. playing tricks on me um, another really cool piece of evidence Yo. that I've had here Yo. is I was up here with a couple people he happened to be Facebook live and we were talking about the creeper mm -hmm. and we started hearing noises and we were asking it to come closer to us we were down on this end and as it got a little closer and a little louder all of a sudden it just went running all the way across the ceiling nothing visual but you could just hear dun, 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 dun. it was so loud i went home and found this guy on facebook and recorded it with my phone just with my speaker up terrible quality obviously mm -hmm. and you can still hear it playing as they just dun, 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 all the way across that ceiling so he ran towards you, technically. Yep, yep, ran, and then so I had my back to this window. The guy that was with me said he thought he saw something go, like, out the window. But um, there's no, obviously, the ductwork does not run straight across. Yeah. So that wasn't a raccoon running across there or something like that. Oh, there's no way, dude. That's the, that's the scariest <laughs> thing I could possibly imagine in my life. He's just misunderstood. Would, I don't care at all. Would yeah. you come up here with a cameraman? Maybe. Me and you. I think you guys should do it.
Light has to be on though. Night vision. Nah. <laughs> no way. Should have said light. IR light of light. Damn it. Adam. No. Come on. Be better at the. Nah. Vision. I would need I'll this light. The red light at minimum. Okay. Red light's worse than no light, bro. Shut oh, the shut oh my up. god. What are you guys Jonah. doing? Not the IR light. I want a red light. Red light, fine, red light. Dude, okay. Oh Jonah, my. Can you turn your red light on real quick? Jonah? Jonah, can you turn off your light real quick? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, this is so much it's worse. worse. That's night vision. Oh my god. Perfect. Perfect. Dude. That was a good deal. Okay, before we begin the investigation, we already have a plan too. You're going solo upstairs. You're going solo in the back building. We together are gonna try and talk to Lily again. Yeah. Then, after a good amount of time has passed, Corey and I are gonna go solo in two different buildings back there, and then you two can work together wherever you want. We have all the devices that we need electronically, but I want to try one thing. And it's no devices, all it needs is chalk and a blindfold. <laughs> That's it. You be, are you going to be a human Ouija board piece? Is that really it? Oh, good guess. Are you serious? Oh, wow. Guess. Oh, my God. That was a really good guess. Oh, I, was, I didn't That's, even think of that. That's a really good guess. Let's go over there. I want to try this one. I'm really curious to see. If this will work. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Right. So here's what I'm thinking. I think the human Ouija board idea is kind of interesting where I would draw out an exact Ouija board, right? All the letters, the numbers, the yes, the no. Blindfold someone, and similar to the human pendulum thing that kind of happened. Mm -hmm. And just see, you know, we ask questions. You heard that? Yeah. Uh -huh. That was a voice, that was a voice. So, prior to a Ouija board idea, which I feel like, let's see if the simpler version works, I think what would be really cool that could work is we just ask yes and no questions. But one person would be blindfolded, and it wouldn't be like yes and no like this. Right, that'd be too obvious. We'll each take a piece of chalk and write yes and no's mm. all throughout. Then we'll spin the first person around and see if maybe they can channel that answer through them and wherever they stop, we can ask questions that way. Yeah. Okay, let's write some yeses and nos around. And then I have a blindfold and we'll give it a go. Okay. Whoever is here, I would really, really enjoy and appreciate if you would help guide your conduit who you're going to talk through to the correct answers for the questions we're about to ask. And whether it's Sarge or Jack or anyone else in this wing or even within Trans Allegheny, if you can hear us, bringing your energy towards us and towards Aaron would help guide him to give us answers in a really amazing way to communicate with you, which is all we're here to do. We just want to learn about your story, your past, and help share whatever message you might have to relay to the people that don't remember you. If you would like to communicate with us tonight, please come into this room. It can be any spirit, any entity, any person that is in this building. We mean no harm at all. We just want to talk to you and get to know your story. We don't mean to disrupt your peace or mean you any disrespect whatsoever. We come purely as friends and as people who want to learn about you and what happened here at this building and this establishment. And we're looking for any form of communication. 
We would really appreciate it and we thank you. All right, let's give Aaron one. And we'll ask, quit. we'll ask questions, assuming that there is someone here. Yeah. You know. What? That was like right on cue. It was like shuffling too. I literally said assuming there's someone here and there's no way your cameras were reflecting that way. That's impossible for that light to have been your cameras. Can you guys both point your cameras that way? What light? Like a beam, almost like this caliber of a light move. And I thought maybe it was bouncing off, but, and I was standing here. Did you choose to come back to here in the afterlife? Mm, that's tough. We'll ask you one more time, just to be clear. Did you choose to come here in the afterlife? Do you know that you are dead? Are you con same question? Do you feel lost or confused? that you're hearing, are you hearing them in your visual world, or are you hearing these from nowhere? think you were treated fairly while here?
Is that... Someone say yes. Huh? Did any of you say yes or say no? No. No. Good. Good. You heard yes? Yes. Audible yes. Say, there was like 14 in a row that, was pretty that nice. lined up. That was pretty nice. It felt like any time we asked if they, if this spirit, person, entity, anything knew where they were or what they were, they didn't. Yeah. That those were the times when we didn't have clear answers. When it was like, do you just no idea that they're here in this? Space, but not but they here don't know. Exactly. in this, but yeah, exactly. All right, we have the tools divided out. You will be getting the SLS motion sensor system, voice recorder, a couple other items. You have a REM pod, you have a K2, you have some cat balls, and just a GoPro and a headlamp. We have some unique ways to communicate with Lily. You have the REM pod bear, the music box, and a couple of other items as well. So we'll do this for an hour, hour and a half, whatever it is, whatever it feels. If you're getting activity, stay. Like don't don't leave. But yeah. we'll meet we'll set a time to meet up and then we'll switch spots and cover this place as best we can. Okay. We also got access to some new buildings we had no idea about that we're all going to go into, but you're going first yeah. alone to the building in the far back right corner. I'm excited, I can't wait. Matt will also be going alone to the fourth floor with the creeper, with Evan, with the creeper, and where one of the more violent crimes happened up in that area as well. That's right, that's all in the same area. It's all in the same area. Yeah. And after a while, if you're getting activity, stay there, but we will switch and we'll be here all night until morning if we need to. And then Corey and I will go alone into different buildings and you guys can pick a place of your choice as well. We all have enough for a bit of a while, but we're gonna do the absolute best paranormal investigation that we can. Yeah. And we, now we know what to look out for. Yeah. Right. See you guys in an hour, hour and a half or so. Awesome. Whew. Let me uh, do this for you, you know? Thank let me, you. Let me, let me get you set up, okay? Here, hold that out, hold it out. Hold it out, how's that going on? You want to go red light? You go red light, and then let's uh, let's walk you over to a night session. We're going red light up all the way upstairs. Oh yeah, you're red light oh, the whole God. way. Should I bring an EVP as well? Aaron, if you want to get a head start, go for it. But wait, you want me? I need an EVP, and then I'll do. Bye guys. Bye. All right, bro. See ya. I've been waiting for this day for literally a long time, bro. Two like, years. Yeah, two two years. Like literally, this the investigation that we did here two years ago with Lily is probably in my top two for most incredible 
like interactions while investigating. Like I purposely, I've never, I purposely bought certain devices knowing that one day we'd come back here. Yeah. I bought the REM pod bear mm -hmm. and the music box because I knew one day we'd come back here and also because we learned from Lily yeah. that child spirits might be some of the most interactive. Yeah. So we have everything, so let's give it a go, man. So here I am in the R wing with this guy they call the creeper. There's one that's said to be up here that they see him crawling on walls and the ground and the ceiling. They believe maybe he's somebody who went through a lot of withdrawals. So maybe that's why he kind of moves and acts the way he does. But it's a long stretch of hallway and he's predominantly seen towards that end, crossing that window down there. So I think we're gonna set up a little base camp here, see if we can't draw them out past the light, get some kind of interaction with them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna sit back here with the, at the SLS when we set it up. But I wanna set up a bunch of these, some of the home security system lights, and a few of these doors, see if anything captures coming in and out of them. Well, it's more of a security fence for myself. And then I've got a cat ball that I wanna roll down there, pretty far down there to see if we can get a little bit of interaction. Say hello first, man. Should I knock? Yeah, or whoever you want, Lily. You know Lily. Hey, Lily. It's Corey. I don't know if you remember me, but I met you a couple years ago, and you walked down the hall with me, and you held my hand, and I walked you all the way back in here. I've never forgot about that day. And I would love if you would talk with us tonight. Maybe we can play some games again. Whatever you want to do. But it's been a while. Ooh. Do you want to put the cat ball by the uh, chair down there? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Let's go. Wait, 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 do I have it? Or is it in the... Oh, wait, hold on a second. I think it's in the box. All right, let's go back. All right. Yeah, we're just going to set up some of our own, our own toys. exciting thing to do on myself. However, I think we should get some really cool stuff. Very, really cool. Not scary. If you get near it, it'll light up a little bit. You can make the whole bear turn blue. It's really cool. My name's Aaron. I'm gonna be coming in. 
I just want to talk to you. I hope you're doing all well. I know you might not have people come to talk to you often, but I just want you to know that I've come just to learn about you and find out about you a little bit more. Yeah, that's enough. That's a well. All right, now test it. Make sure it works. Yep. Is that a basketball floor? For what? The music box is kind of just... Wait! That's not you. No. Lily? Hey, Lily. Do you remember us? Do you remember us, Lily? We were here a couple years ago. Do you like that song? Oh, whoa, that's playing with that. I thought it was playing with the wall. It's not. It's playing right in the open space. If you stand directly in front of it, it'll keep playing that song for you. Sounds just like your other music. As long as you want to hear it. All right, this is EVP with Matt. There you go. Go ahead. One second. I'm trying to get this to work. And okay. I'm trying to full screen. Do you remember when you held my hand and I walked you down the hall back to this room because it was past your bedtime and you had to go to bed? Well, Lily, if you want, we also brought you a new bear. If you want to come over here, you can try grabbing it and you can try picking it up. You can play with it tonight.
Do you have the original case that I used? Uh, oh, hey Lily! Did it just play? Hey! It just went through right three times. It's okay! I don't think you need the original kit to that you know. Here, Lily, come grab my hand over here and we can go walk down the hall, okay? If you feel like talking to me, I've got a needed feet here, we can listen. Whew. I know life was difficult probably for you. If you want to also touch this REM pod too, um, you can touch it and it'll go off. Let's set it on the ground right there. I'm going to do just touch that little antenna right there, that little rod. All right, I'm right here. You gotta grab my hand, though. Yeah, you guys don't step off until she's right between. Here, Lily. Come on. Do you want to stay in here? Do you not want to go for a walk? You do? Come on. I might know what's going on. What? Do you remember? If I'm not mistaken, but Lily wasn't allowed to really leave the room. Because we figured out there was a man keeping her from leaving. You're right. You remember that? Is that right? Here, can you please make yourself known right now? I just want to talk to you. Is someone in the building who won't let you leave your room? We can protect you. Do you want to leave? Okay, Lily, I'll go out the hallway and I'll make sure you're safe, okay? And Corey holds her hand, make sure you're safe as well. Wherever you want to go in here, we'll take you. If you want to go to the other car with the more comfy couches, Should we turn the music box off? Sure. 
Alright, Lily, we're going to turn the music off for a minute so we can go in the hall. Alright, Lily, we're going to turn this off. And the show is through here. Hold Corey's hand, okay? That's what we did last time. Yeah, we should. We're gonna play a different music box, okay? Now we still have music while we walk. Turn this one off, okay? And we'll play a different one for you. Thanks, Lily. I know you might be shy. I know you might have been might have been hurt here, and you don't trust humans, and that's okay. But I'm here and it's safe. And I would just like to to get to know whoever's here. Try this, okay, Corey? What was that? I'm gonna try this. Okay, Lily. I set something up back here so we'll know if anyone walks near us. Okay? standing right in front of me that just touched that box someone else other than Lily are you not letting Lily leave her room holy do you not want Lily to leave her room because it's dangerous out here Are you keeping Lily in her room for your own reasons? Are you trapping her in her own room? Will you try to stop us if we ask her to leave the room? And we're gonna invite Lily to come play in the hallway. Maybe play a little piano. Try and dance. Have a fun night. So I hope you don't mind if I'm going to make my way down there. Like I said, I'm not going to hurt you. Just here to be nice. Just here to be a friend. Dude, that's a lesson. I swear there's no one just waiting in right there. Like, hey, hands off doing this. Wait, I went back. I was like, watched it. Who saw that? Did you? Uh, the camera saw it. Thanks. Just here to be a friend. Coming, Lily? We're gonna go play piano. Oh, hey. Really? It's okay. Really? Uh, it's okay. Come on. You can hold it. If you're always stuck in your room and you want to walk with us, we'll protect you and then we'll walk you all the way back to your room. You just got to trust me. Yes. 
her leaving the room or someone coming after us. Lily, if that's you coming to hold my hand, you can. Come on, we're gonna go play piano. We're gonna go dance. Talk to you. Hello. This is crazy. Where's Lily? I didn't realize that last time she followed us all the way through this hallway into the next hallway to the, next one. To the lobby. I didn't realize how far. I don't know. It's interesting. I wonder, I wonder if she's in the room because it, it flickered a few times. And then right after as if maybe she held your hand and then, and then ran, back. And ran back to her room. Maybe this is joining where she's most comfortable. Saying come back. All right, Lily, it's okay. We don't have to walk the hall. If you're scared to walk the hall, because something happened since we've been gone, we don't have to. I don't want to get you in trouble, okay? That's like, those are remarkable answers. Like, they yes. are on point. Yes. Okay, Lily, we're gonna set up some toys. That way we can play some games. You down? Thank you for having me. I wish you all the best in your home. I hope that you stay here for a bit or you move on and are in peace. Wait, that's not you, Aaron. 
Aaron's right there, but Aaron's not near the REM pod. Aaron's right there. Is it 115 already? I was just about to say, uh, I go. Were you whistling to me? I'm a pretty good whistler myself. Okay, I still don't think that what I heard was Aaron, though, because I heard it outside the door. You're not coming in. No, you're not. This is why Lily isn't leaving. Are you scaring Lily? Have you been standing outside of her door not letting her come in? Or is that Lily out there in the hall touching the box, telling us to come out there? I literally think that last time we were here, there was something evil keeping her from leaving this room and she was scared. And literally it was at this door. We even caught an EVP at this door because I heard someone say something to me when I set up a, I set maybe the REM pod there or something. If you'd like for me to just leave you alone and get out of here, can you tell me, can you give me a sign? That was so audible. I can still hear it. Can you tell me? Can you give me a sign? Uh, whistling again. I think Lily's everything, too scared. Everything in here is saying that Lily is no longer allowed to play with strangers. You were a stranger that came in here and she followed you almost all the way out of the building. Yeah. Maybe she learned that's not okay. Like imagine if that was your child. Yeah. And you, you know what I mean? And I walked in and just took her hand and just walked her. I would be so mad. Yeah. At her, like what, that is so unsafe. You can't do that. Is that what's happening? The reason why Lily can't leave the room is because this person is protecting her from us, from the strangers that came in here two years ago. Look at that. Oh my God, dude. Okay, this is like, I want you to know that we don't mean any harm at all to Lily. We're not trying to take her with us. We're not trying to get her to leave. We just want to make sure that she is okay. Can you touch that box again and let me know that Lily is safe and okay in this room? She was like whispering. She was in the corner of the room like, hi. But it's, so she, the, it's the same thing. Like imagine you have a friend over and your parents aren't supposed to know. You're gonna whisper. Yeah. You heard that, right? I heard it again. Wow. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep the EVP rolling while we walk back. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try and just hang out with Lily. I know that, I know that sounds weird. I know we're strangers, but we have good intentions. And the reason we're here is 
to try and liven up her day a little bit. And I understand we're adults, we're strangers, you don't know who we are. But with your permission, we'd like to see if she wants to play. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're only gonna play in here. We won't take her outside of the room again. Because remember last time, we didn't purposely bring her out there. She came and found me. Yeah. And I had to walk her back here. So that's what they're scared of. They're scared of her trying to leave with us. Yeah. When she belongs here. We're gonna head back downstairs and meet up with uh, Aaron. And then he and I are gonna do a little duo with, I assume, Evan. Um, yeah, this is terrifying. I feel like he was just kind of checking us out. Maybe not He's being a creeper. He's being a bit of a creep. What a terrible name. Uh, Should we set the music box back up? I want to see if she can talk to us. Yeah. With the obvious? What? Cat ball. Yo, are you guys out here? You heard that too. No, I was not talk about it. And yeah, leave the camera out there. Are you guys out here? Evan! No, they're not here. Dude, it sounded like Evan said, hey. What? Well, I guess it wasn't that then. I guess it was someone else. Let's try to figure box. Yeah. Let's see if she'll talk that way. Yeah. Alright, Lily, we're gonna talk to you, okay? Have you else been around there? I wonder if that's an approval again. We asked for permission, now we're sitting down with the bear. Okay. Hey Lily. Makes a weird noise, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, it lights up pretty blue. Hi Lily. Is it okay if our other friends join us in here? Can I come in? As long as you introduce yourself. Hello there. Hi Lily. I'm Matt. Just coming in with a friend of mine named Evan. I can interrupt you, just joining my friends. We're gonna turn on this device and anything you want to say, you can say through it, okay? We'll spend like five minutes and, and see if you want to say anything to us. And if not, maybe you don't like it. And we can change to something different, okay? Turn this on and... Okay. Okay. All right, turn this on. If you ever just want to give us a yes, or your friend wants to give us a yes, you can use that box outside. Lily, can you say your name or any of our names? Do you remember us, Lily?
Are you okay, Lily? Did nobody just hear that in the hallway? Huh? I heard that too. Did you really? Super clear, yeah. Are you okay, Lily? Did nobody just hear that in the hallway? Like a female voice, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey Lily, is this easier? Flutter, batteries, done. Flutter, batteries, done. Each, cards. Did it actually say clutter, batteries, done? Yes. Like we came in, made a mess with all of our batteries, and she's done? It, it said about eight words. It's going crazy. It's not worth it, man. Like, she knows we're not gonna stay here. You know, for days or weeks, we're just gonna be here for the night and leave. It's not worth getting it. Like, we don't know what happened last Captain. time. Who? Captain and who? Captain who? I'm talking about the sergeant? Maybe. Or any other captain here. I mean, this is a civil war. Who's the captain? Last time we were confident that there was someone that was kind of keeping her in the room. Mm -hmm. And this is connected to the Civil War wing. This is the Civil War wing, actually. We're in it. Is the captain standing outside of your door? You want us to clean up? Let's clean up a little bit. I think it makes sense, man. Like, if she got in trouble last time after we left, and the first thing that she said was clutter and batteries. And gone, gone. Yeah, there's cat balls everywhere. Let's see. Okay, Lily, we're gonna clean up. You wanna clean up with us? And, and, and. Yeah. You want us to stop talking to you? I think we might be getting her in trouble, man. Did I get you in trouble last time I was here? Bunny, Reed. Bunny and Reed. Is there a bunny or is there a bunny book? There's a bunny, there's a bunny. I'm right here. Whoa, there's a captain right here. On this book. That's not a bunny. But that's a bunny. That is a bunny. bunny. Look, a bunny and a captain and Reed. Holy oh. Lily! Lily! Lily, she wants, she wants us to read? Reader. You are Dude, so look smart. Look at this. Captain, Bunny, it's a book. Oh my. And look what it's next to, the first thing that went off. Oh. She was trying to get us to read a book the whole time. Read, read the front part, it say Treasure Island. Treasure Island, yeah. But what is the... All right, Lily, Elton's gonna read your book for you. If you like it, you can stand in front of the music box and I'll play music again. Okay. All right, Lily. My first time reading this book. Treasure Island, Part One. The old, the old. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I just said one. Just said one. Chapter One: The Old Sea Dog at the Admiral Benbow. Squire Tellaween. Tell. That's a big word even for me. Squire Twelloweeny. Twel Twel. Well, well, on. I can't read this name, guys. I'll try reading it as a pirate. Maybe someone else can do a better pirate than I can. I remember him as if he were yesterday. And he came plodding to the inn door, a sea chest following behind him, in a hand barrel. A tall, strong, heavy, nut brown man. His it, just said, it just said man. <laughs> His tarry pigtail falling over the shoulders of his soiled blue coat. Someone else want to try to read it? Tweak. I can give it a shot. Tweak? You want to tweak my voice, huh? I can give it a Take shot. Take it from up here, huh? Should I do uh... Show it to the pirate voice. 
Where did you, where did you say? On the take door. off from right here, on the door. Hear you, matey, he cried to the man who trundled the barrel. Bring up alongside and help up my chest. I'll stay here a bit. Was that, was that the office? No. I, well, you heard that. You right? heard that. What? It was, like, it was like a little kid voice. Bring up alongside and help up my chest. I'll stay here a bit. What did it say? I, I, don't, I, know, I don't know what it said, but it was it. very legible of like a uh, little. Not sound, a little kid voice. No, we thought maybe like his hand was covering the speaker or something. No, it's right there. Not touching it. I heard that. That was so cool. What did I, I, I no idea what it said, but it was like. That was strange, uh, but seemed like a mate or skipper, accustomed to be obeyed or to strike. Geese. Oh my god. Wait, there was just two the Go to the index. The index. Let me take off this glove. I can't do anything with this glove right now. I was just thinking about that. And I'm trying to get to part six, and it's like never. I was literally just like, what if it went off right now? Because we're not paying attention to anybody else. We trying, stopped reading. Trying to get our attention. I know, we stopped reading. <laughs> uh, we're going to start reading again, okay? We're going to read the captain. I think that's the part you want us to read. Okay, the last. The fall of a chieftain. There never was such an overturn in this world. Each of these six men was as though he had been struck. But with silver, the blow passed almost instantly. Every thought of his... So oh my god, it started. It dude, it started. That is the... the never. Dude, that's the third or fourth never. time. They're never, never. Oh um. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll keep reading. We'll keep yeah. reading. Sorry. But with silver, the blow passed almost instantly. Give it more, come on. Every thought of his soul had been set full stretch like a racer. No, you know what it might It says Chris. <sighs> no. First time we've gotten a name on this. Chris. What's our attention? Chris? Is that Chris? I think that's Chris, dog. Didn't go off at all the past Great, like, three you, investigations. You this room. That's what I'm doing. What happened, Chris? Are you still out there? Holy sh! Is that right there? No, dude, turn the, right the door. Oh my god. Is anybody out there? Chris, are you standing right on the outside of that screen door? Dude, it sounded like someone pressed their fingers on that screen door. I heard that door creak. Happens. It's gonna happen, Chris. Do you not want us in here with Lily, Chris? I wonder if we were reading. Her favorite book, his, his, like, that's the book he reads to her. Or maybe he just doesn't want her being entertained. No, we got permission earlier. Okay. Do you want us to stop reading? Is this your book that you read to Lily? Alright, Chris. Not us. Not us. Someone just came in. Um... Every thought of his soul had been set full stretch like a racer on that money. Well, he was brought up in a single second dead, and he kept his head, found his temper, and changed his plan before the others had had time to realize the disappointment. Jim, he whispered, take that and stand by for trouble. And he passed me a double-barreled pistol. At the same time, he began quietly moving northward and in a few steps had put the hollow between us two and the other five. With oaths and cries began to leap You're not giving enough flow. I think, I think you need more flow. I think he's criticizing how you're reading. Mm -hmm. You're not reading the book the way he reads it. Matt, you want to try? Mm -hmm. A cat ball, a cat ball, right behind us. 
someone's in here. And there was no time left for him to answer in. The buccaneers, with oaths and cries, began to leap one another. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let's see it. Come on. Into the pit. Yep. Like you're in, Matt. Let's go. Into the pit and to dig with their fingers, throwing the boards aside as they did so. Morgan found a piece of gold. He held it with a perfect spout of oaths, darting furious glan glances behind them. Man, I'm so <laughs> illiterate. <laughs> it, for the record, that also said pushing. What did I say? It said pushing. So you've been reading. I'm right, I'm just like 12 words in this. What was that? I was trying to. Camera died. Go. Oh, the GoPro in the hallway died. I heard something right before that happened. The GoPro yeah, died. Like... That one right there. I heard something right before that happened as well. I heard. Dude, those are supposed to last hours, and we have not been here for hours. The other three turned and ran for it with all their might. Before you could wink, Long John had fired two. Two barrels. Read, read, read faster. I'm sorry. I haven't read, read out loud in forever. Read, read faster. I'm trying. Maybe the book's falling apart. Read the piece faster. Increase the speed. Come on. Come on. Read your final piece at a really fast speed. I'm ruining the book. Let's Hold go. On. Come on. Come on. Read, read. I'm going. Two barrels of the pistol into the struggling Mary. And as a man rolled up his eyes at him in the last agony, George, he said, I reckon I settled you. At the same moment, the doctor, Gray, and Ben Gunn joined us with smoking muskets from among the nutmeg trees. Good night, Lily. Good night, Lily. <laughs> Let's put this back. Good night, Lily. Good night. Oh. Corey, I want you to try one. Yes. Now I'm moving. I'm gonna put the book back, okay, Lily? We stopped reading and now it's going on. Lily, I'm gonna put the book back. But, when I put the book back, Corey's gonna give you one last bedtime story. But he's gonna make it up. It'll be a story like you've never heard before. And then we're gonna leave, okay? Other camera died. Are you serious? Alright, Lily. Dog. Lily? Do you want one more story before going? You heard that? Yeah. It was like, uh huh. Lily, do you want one more story? I got one more story. I'll leave her up. You guys have to go sell those stuff, right? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Didn't forget. We're gonna go from one of the coolest interactions we've ever had to. Hey, huh? I started with. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Corey, all the GoPros are. We can't go alone now. Oh no, we have so many extra batteries. Oh no, 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 we don't. I threw them out. A lot of them. They're in the garbage now. There's no, there's no more batteries. All the batteries are gone. Oh, I will find the batteries. Oh no, we we have to go. It is early in the morning. Oh man, can't believe that it conveniently died for you guys, but I went alone. There once was a little girl named Lily who loved going to the beach. And every day, she would play in the sand, she would build sand castles, but one day, she saw a ship, and she's never seen this ship before. So she walks over to it, and there's no one on board. So what does Lily do? She walks onto the ship. She finds a pirate hat. She finds an eye patch. 
and arg. You heard something? I'm saying sword. Oh. Yeah. And a sword. Arr! Arr! It's pirate Lily. She got on the poop deck at the front of the ship. She stared through the forest seas. Seven seas. Seven nine seas. She went high. She went low. She went everywhere for gold. Till one day, another pirate ship came up behind Lily. But that didn't stop her. No. Lily pulled out the biggest cannon that the pirates have ever seen. She got the match. She lit that cannon, and the ball flew across the seven seas. It flew over the sun. It flew over the clouds. And Pirate Lily took down the other ship. <laughs> then, <laughs> Lily boarded the other ship. <laughs> and found out it was never a ship at all. It was a giant sailing pot of gold that she shot down. And Lily had all the gold in the world. Now, Pirate Lily was the richest little girl in the world. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Was that story okay, Chris? Was that okay? Was that story loud and annoying? I had better stories, Chris. What is that? Noon early. Oh, no. <laughs> or it's time for bed. Clean. Clean up again. Okay. All right. We'll clean All right. Up. We're going to clean up. All right, Lily. Watch the REM pod. I want to see if it goes off when we leave. It was fun hanging out with you again. It's been a long time. I'm sorry if last time we hung out, you got in trouble. All right, Chris. We'll leave it now, okay? Thanks for letting us. Hang out and read some stories. We just spent two hours in there with Lily. Like two hours the entire time. Like it, it, it's, it's yeah, it's, we kind of knew. We knew, we literally knew. We said coming into this. Do you want to like, recap what everybody went through? Not yet. Okay. Let's do it later. Let's do it in the motorhome. Okay. okay. Because yeah, we actually, right. sun's going to rise soon and we still have to go alone. That's true. And you guys can pick one last spot. Where do you want to go? Out of me. Okay, downstairs. Yeah, we're we're yeah, down for that. Okay, let's get batteries then. Yeah. You ready, Corey? <laughs> oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. What tools are you bringing? Uh, I have the new K2 meter, uh -huh. and then. I have the, oh, just the camera. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I just have the, what do you have? Just, uh, I got the uh, Oculus and Oh, come on. <sighs> Three o'clock. We'll meet up together for the witching hour. <laughs> so what building am I going to? Uh-huh. Do you even know what the buildings are? Uh-huh. Yes, you do. No, no, I'm not going to. Oh, you do know. No, you just said Aaron already went to the bad ones, I swear. Yeah. Aaron already went to the bad one. Yeah. Right here is where we should knock. Hi there, I'm Aaron. I'm coming in to talk to you guys. I hope that you'll talk to us. Hi, I'm Matt. We're just here as friends. We don't mean any disrespect or any harm. We're not gonna hurt you. Uh, to the left. Uh, yeah. Outside we go. 
Now you guys left Elton down here? Yeah. Dude, I would have no idea how to get up. Blindfolded in a wheelchair. That. Look at this. Look at that. that oh my god. Scary. It's a, it's a disembodied head. Look. Is that funny? Really? See it? I want to see what this is. Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. It's cold. Okay, so you want to go alone or you want to do this? Action movie style. What's action movie style? Fucking back to back. <laughs> I would much rather do it back to back. The in I will do it back to back the entire time than by myself. <laughs> oh no. Is it? This turned on and started playing. I'll turn it off. I'll Dude, that turned on and started playing. Out of nowhere. How is that possible? Bro, like to turn this on, you have to hold this button down. Really? See? What? And it was off. I turned it off, put it in my pocket. It's been in my pocket. And it turned on and started playing out of nowhere, okay? That's creepy. Well, then we're using the EVP for sure. Okay. Oh, dude. Look. Whoa. Oh, this is a way cool. Dude, look wow. at this place. Wow. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is where all the beds would be. Yeah, right here. have this K2, this device right here you can touch. If you touch it, it'll make these these little colors light up. And if they light up, the stronger that they go, the more that we know you're here, all right? Okay, if you're here, can you please turn off that flashlight right now? Hello? Oh look, the beds. Beds are in here. Oh my god, I had no idea. This is so cool. Is anyone sleeping in here? This is so cool. Dude, they should actually do like overnights here. 100%. Wait, was this for the criminally insane? Because the no. bars. The bars make. This is the criminally insane building. That would make sense. This wouldn't be the geriatric building. Are you guys sleeping? These are like brand new. Pillows. We wake you up? Ow. Here. Ow. Here. Ow? Like ouch? A L. A L. Ow. Ow. Like his name. Ow. Ow? Who's Ow? What does this say? I can't read it. Help? Here. Help. H E L P. No Have a nice day. Help? What if no one's been in here? Have no, a nice day. It's not kids that are writing this. Yeah. Especially because this building's blocked off for literally anyone. We're gonna play a game, okay? If you can turn off that flashlight in the next 20 seconds, we'll give you a point, all right? Ready, go. Okay, that's one point, all right. We're gonna go to 10, okay? 
okay? Every time after 20 seconds, if you don't turn it off or turn it on, however it's supposed to be to get your point, then we get a point, okay? And if we hit 10 first, we win, all right? Okay, now can you turn on that flashlight again? You got 20 seconds. Ready, go. Come on, you can do it. Use all of your energy. You got 10 more seconds. Come on, you got it, you got it. Push, push. Almost there. Come on, come on. Seven, six, there wow. we go. That's two points. Nice, two points. Let's go to five, let's go to five. Let's, let's do it. Okay, we'll go to five points. We don't want to waste all your energy. Um, okay. You got two points, we have zero right now, okay? Is there anyone in here with us? Oh wow, as you took that, I just felt something tickle my ear. Really? Yeah, it could be a spider right here. Oh, we're gonna turn up toward the staircase. Oh, are these people? What does it say? Nine prisoners escape at West End, three seized, murderer, kidnapper, and group. Brooke, youth, 17, among fugitives back in custody. Wow. What? Did you just hear that? No, I was reading up. There was just a noise upstairs. It was like a dump. Dude, this place is huge. Yeah. And we didn't even know about this building. No, or any of the other ones. Wow. Some more inmate. What a smell that is the second you walk in here. Oh my god. Anyone in here? Thank you. Thank you. We're heading out. Right. Monument. Bank. Let's figure out how to get Monument. in this building. This is the building. This is sad. sad. Doesn't it look like there's lights on in there? Yes, I was gonna say that earlier. Oh shit. Watch out for the drop. I think this door might be open. This would make sense because they're across from each other. It definitely looks like the lights are Why are you sad? Hey, your alarm? Yeah. Let's go in this thing. Open. Sick. Oh, it's is locked. it locked? It's locked from the inside. Oh, Whoa. they have storage in there. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right, we can go back in then, I guess. Well, we are still legitimately on this road trip. There's the motorhome, there's Trans Allegheny, and I guess not even tomorrow, today, we're driving to Blair House. Yeah. Which is, you You keep underestimating. I just don't know. This house. Yeah, because you're like, oh, houses, I'm not afraid of houses, I'm just afraid of big asylums. Like, Blair, you know what I mean? Nothing. No, nothing. I don't know, you know yet. What I, mean? I don't you know, know what yet. What you haven't told me yeah. shit. You know what I mean? He didn't watch a video. Dude, you know what I mean? Blair is literally nothing to mess with. Like it's, it's gonna be. Is it be... dark? Blair was yeah. like a. I don't like that. Two hour straight conversation. Yeah. Really? Two hours uncut, basically in uncut. We just fast forwarded some parts where it was kind of slow. Yeah. But that's it. It's really. You cool. guys were conversing with Blair. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we're not even. By the way, not even halfway done with the road trip right now. No. 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 They'll have Blair House, Mansfield yep. Reformatory, Crescent Sanatorium. Yep. Then we go to Fairfield Infirmary, Old Juliet Prison, Missouri State Pen, Sally House, and then we keep going from there yep. further and further and further. So we're, we're moving and we're moving and we're moving. Oh my 
my gosh. Jesus. But thank you guys for, for watching. We had some really interesting evidence. Up. We'll talk about it in the motorhome. Yeah. Okay. And like talk about it. They're, they've already seen it. We don't need to talk about it. So, yeah. should we merch giveaway? Yeah, merch we giveaway. We got all these hats, we got beanies, merch. we got hoodies. You know, we'll merch. merch gives away. What's you, the comment? All you gotta do, we'll pick five people that leave a comment. What's the comment? Then? All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna start it. Uh huh. Then let's go down the line. Just keep adding on to let's it. Let's make it rhyme. Here. Make it rhyme. Yeah. So okay. you set it up. Rhyme. Set okay. it up. Rhyme. Yeah. Okay. I don't normally say this, but I just wasted time. And even though my best friend is blind, we know each other from Vine. Hickory dickory do. I think I made a little poo. Barack Obama who? Stinky, stinky, smelly, smelly, gush, gush, gush. I don't even know what to do unless I push, push, push. Hanging around all you guys makes me gush, gush, gush. With all that gush, 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 I hope you gush, gush, gush in my tush, tush, tush. Exclamation point, exclamation point, number one, exclamation point, exclamation point, number one, number one, number two? Question mark. So whatever the last thing Aaron said, that was a comment. So what, okay, okay. Whatever Aaron, the question mark at the end. Yep. Okay. Yeah, leave it, leave it on YouTube, and then a bonus entry, leave it on our Instagram. Yep. Yeah. Just yeah. comment on Instagram yep. and we'll yeah. DM people and figure out winners and we'll send you merch. Yep. Yeah. So For exactly real. just comment For exactly real. that what we just said. For real. Okay. Yeah. Letter yeah. by letter, symbol by symbol. Symbol symbol. We're gonna hit the road. Let's, let's get all the gear in this. The go. one ring to rule them all. Bilbo Baggins. On his road trip to see Blair Witch House. Will he come? <laughs> Tune in next week. I'm late for my chatterbait live. <laughs>